Hi and welcome to free Excel tutorial videos. In this video today, I'm going to show you how you can create a 30 minute time interval in Microsoft Excel. What we want is to create a series of 30 minutes interval and here I have a spreadsheet to show you how to do that. So let's start. So the, e the easiest way to create a 30 minute time interval is by using the autofill function. Okay, but I'm also going to show you how to do it by using the math in Excel. And also I'm going to show you how time is stored in Microsoft Excel. So here in this cell number A4, I have a time value. It's 12 a.m. or midnight. Okay, if you move the cursor to the bottom right and you drag down to the cell below, Excel will uh, automatically create a one hour interval. Okay, and, and if you see the autofill function, you only get one, one, one option which is to copy or fill in the series. Okay, you cannot change it to maybe half an hour or 15 minutes or any other time okay so let's uh, press ctrl z to undo this and come over here now here is the date okay and if we use the autofill function okay and we come over here to the autofill as you can see we get a few options we can autofill it in a day at a time uh, weekdays uh, fill by months or even years okay so this is the difference so let's undo this so our goal is to create a series of 30 minute time interval here so let's type in a cell here one two colon double zero space a okay let's do it again it should be 30 okay because uh, it took me one to create a 30 minute interval okay so now we have the step value okay this is the step value this is indicated so we now we can proceed with the autofill so we select both of the cells and drag it down okay and now you see that we have a half an hour time interval okay 1 1 30, 2 okay and if you use this mouse to drag to the right side you can see that it still creates a one hour uh, one hour difference okay so in order to change that let's do a let's say a 15 minute interval so let's come over here let's delete this two come over here one five okay so now i've created a step value 15 minutes so if you select both and we use the auto fill function you can see that excel created a 15 minute interval okay this horizontally okay so Okay, now I'm going to undo this because this is not what we wanted. Okay. So now let us see how um, how this works out mathematically. Okay, we start. Okay, let's start with um, equals. Okay, and we will point to the end time which is cell number A5 okay and we will minus the start time which is cell A4 and hit enter so let's now we have this one here and now we want to change the formatting so instead of seeing the actual time we will go to the home tab okay and we go to the numbers group Okay, right, and we have the format cell dialog. So here we are going to select the number category and we're going to select six 
decimal points and click OK. So there we have it. The formula or this number 0.020833 is the numeric value for one half hour. Okay. So what portion of the day is one half hour? Okay. So let's come to this cell over here and press Control shift and semicolon to enter the current time. Okay. And below this cell, I'll write a formula. Okay. Uh, we'll put, start with equals. We'll point to the beginning time, which is this one. And then we will plus. And then I will type in a constant value, which is this number over here, 0 0.020833, and press enter. Okay. So we have now created a 30 minute interval uh, between this and this. Okay. So 526 plus how 30 minutes is 556. Okay, now with the formula in place, we can just drag it down and the formula will add 30 minutes to each cell. Okay, alright. So that is how we do it by using the math. Okay, now I want to show you how time is stored is how time is stored in Excel. Okay, over here I have some times in the day. Okay, I will use um, let's start with um, the equal sign. Okay, now I'll point to 12 in the morning. And I'm going to press enter. Okay, so let's just drag it down. Okay, and now we come over to the numbers dialog. A numbers home tab and go to the number to get the format cell dialog okay here I want to select the number category and just two decimal points okay and press OK alright now you can see that 12 a.m. or midnight is stored as 0.02 let me just do this this is not very easy for you to see but uh, but if you I'm gonna come here okay okay and I'm gonna drag this down same thing but here I'm gonna change it Okay, go to the number, format cell option, change the number category to two decimal points and press OK. Okay, so you can see that uh, 12 is uh, equivalent to 0 0.00. Okay, and 6 a.m. is uh, 0 0.050. Okay. No, this is not correct. This is creating a one hour interval. So I'm going to undo this. I'm going to copy this and paste this. Nope, doesn't work. Um, let's just copy the formula we have here. Alright, let's do it again. Put the time. And we put a uh, 30 minute interval like how we did over like how we did over here. Okay, now we have the step value and I'm going to break it down. Okay, now we have a 30 minute inter uh, interval. So now I want to change the format. So go to the home tab, go to this number, go to the format cell, select the numbers category 
and change it to two decimal points okay so now you can see okay 12 a.m. is 0, 0.00 and 6 a.m. is 0, 0.25 okay this means that uh, at 6 a.m. Um, the day has elapsed 25 percent okay which means that by noon uh, the day will be gone the 50 percent of the day has passed okay so now you, you get the idea if I uh, how time is uh, stored okay so at, at 12 and midnight it's zero percent of the day has passed okay at 6 a.m. 25 percent of the day has passed okay so I'm going to change this to percentage okay now you see okay when it's 6 in the morning 25% of the day has passed okay so now you know how uh, to create a step-by-step -step series uh, using autofill you know how to create a, a half an hour interval or 15 minute interval or any time you like you can also calculate the numeric equivalent of the specific time and you can use a formula and lastly you know how time is um, stored in Excel as a portion or a decimal portion of one okay so uh, I'll see you in the next video